What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel guys. Today we're taking a look at some Inside the Mind gameplay. Uh, for those of you that have never visited my channel before, what we exist to do um, is provide some strategy videos uh, for, Madden, for Madden gamers. Um, today we're playing Madden 16 and we're going to be utilizing the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook and we're going to be also utilizing the New England Patriots defensive playbook. I've been in those playbooks for most of the season. Um, I've got a couple guides out for them so you can check those out in the description if you think that um, it's something worth your time um, but what we like to do here this is inside the mind so the whole point of the video series is uh, just to kind of play a game and talk about what I do and um, hopefully you can learn some things from my mistakes um, as well as my my failures because you know we all have you know mistakes and failures uh, you know especially in Madden and so in my opinion the best way to learn um, is to watch somebody else play and take notes on what you see they do that is good and what they what you see they do that is bad so um, I, I will always have this um, you know this series um, as a nice proponent but what we like to do is we start out we script our first play as this little fullback inside and I really really like it as my first play um, because it, it just kind of embeds that in my opponent's brain that um that that's something that we can do um from there i go into my standard stuff you know i go to the snugs um for those of you that don't know um you know i really really like the shotgun snugs i wrote a whole guide uh based around the shotgun snugs and um I, I personally think it's the best way to, to play this year, but, um, you know, obviously other people play differently, and uh, and so I respect that, but for me, um, this is the way I like to play, um, find it really, really effective, because uh, another thing I want to talk about in a moment is, is, is schematics and what really makes a good scheme, but... Um, the thing about the gun snugs for me is I know the reads so well because I've ran it for so long that I don't even have to look at where the receivers are going. I just know where they're going to be at. Um, now that takes me to my next point here as we're kind of working through this um, series offensively. For those of you that uh, are looking to kind of improve your game, one of the things that I would suggest doing is to pick a playbook in the beginning of the year and uh, and stick with that playbook all year long. Um, I'm finding that, that that's really, for me, the one of the best ways to play. And we get a bogus pick. Gosh dang it, that was so stupid. I don't know, that kind of frustrated me a little bit. But um, I suggest staying in a playbook all year long because... The reason, um, you know, the reason that you're going to know in the ins and outs of it is because you have repetition. Um, they say that the two best ways uh, to learn is through um, reflection and repetition, um, and and that's really the two best ways to learn um, that there are, that there is. So, you know, so keeping that in mind, you know, it it really. You know, I think it really has some weight, especially you're talking just you know offense, especially uh, defense. It kind of changes and, and it's really kind of flexible. But offense specifically, um, you know, I really see that that principle kind of really honing in uh, and actually having a lot of impact for players um, because uh, you know the, the just the the honest truth is that and they would get some gap pressure like I said you know this all this stuff can be found in our guide um, that we and it's only ten dollars guys so you can get that for you know pretty inexpensive but um, but yeah oh my gosh I got dotted he's got a pretty solid team I was looking at his team he's got like Randall Cunningham he's got Travis Kelsey all these like really elite players so I kinda have a budget squad but that's no excuse for getting dotted right there this situation I'm just trying to kinda give some different looks at him kinda see what he's doing uh, I've seen a couple pistol things uh, that was a pretty good run there but um, a couple pistol things that have interested me um, I'm having a ton of issues getting my hot routes in per usual I'm like the slowest player when it comes to making adjustments I feel like I'm so slow
And there, <sighs> Travis Kelsey's gonna frickin' That was a good catch by him. Um, I really like this 4-3 over for this situation. Talk a little bit about it in the guide. I think it has some pretty good things to do for us down in this situation. I don't know how that's not a pick. Uh, but one of the things I do with the 4-3 over is I'll throw my safeties in. I think it does a pretty good job at stopping the run. Um, sorry I wasn't talking right there. I just got to focus a little bit to get that stop. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Trying to do these commentaries, drink coffee in the morning while I'm getting ready. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, for me, this is an interesting spot to be in to say the least. So inside zone is what I'm kind of expecting here. He doesn't go inside zone. I know i got to get out there. We're going to go ahead and click that down. We get a pick by Aaron Lynch. A big time stop by the defense right there. I mean, in a situation where the offense really, you know, kind of made a bad, you know, you know, didn't really play their best, and then we, you know, had one other sit, you know, and, you know, you kind of live and learn, but, um, you know, the key is that, you know, we, we get the stop, and now we got to go make something happen. So there McKinnon gets us a little breathing room. We're actually going to stay in this offense for a second, and the reason is because um, we still want to get a little more, more room out. Uh, once we get to about the 10-yard line, I'll feel comfortable throwing because I don't want to take a sack and, you know, be in some real issues, you know, have some real danger. So there, Dre Archer breaks it to the outside. The running game this year, in my opinion, It's not just good from shotgun. It's good everywhere. I mean, there's not a... I mean, the inside zone's great, but the inside zone from under center is pretty dang solid, too. I mean, I'm not finding a whole lot of defenses that really... that really, really, you know, kind of, you know, make it really difficult to run. Um, just not finding them. Here he tries to send pressure at me. And we get a freaking fumble. Choked right into a hit stick. And offensively, we we can't have much more go wrong. There's a drag. He's running a lot of crossing patterns. A lot of mesh. And you see that from a lot of players. Um, I haven't really made him feel the pressure yet cuz we'll see what he does here second and two little pitch to the outside got pretty good defense for the outside runs this year third and five let's we'll see if I can't get some pressure going We'll just see what he does here. This is going to be an interesting play call. There's verticals. There's the rollout. And there we are. Got a nice stop. So good play by the D there. So, so far, off two turnovers, the defense has held him to three. So 
So you definitely have to respect that. Um, yeah, I mean, the offense just has to stop turning over. I mean, we've had two turnovers, and that's the thing I preach. You know, if you don't turn the ball over, I mean, it's... And even in the real NFL, if you if if you can not turn the ball over and take care of it, I mean, look at the percentages. Normally, you're going to win the game. Um, it's it's really those big time mistakes that lead to you losing, um, for the most part. For me, from what I've seen, um, for some reason, it's not letting us hot route. I don't really like the fact that we have to like wait to hot route now. There's a little check down to Edelman, and I didn't even get the ball out to him quick enough, but yeah, it is what it is. I thought I was going to have a better read to the to um, another section of the field. He's running some interesting like zone blitzes, which uh, I haven't seen that much. I've seen a lot of two-man under, so I'm like, waiting for him to call it, but he's not. I don't really call too much, too much two-man under either, though, but he's mixing up his play calls. He's running the nickel... I think it's his two, four, five. Um, this situation right here looks to be a pressure situation, so I'm going to go ahead and run the same play I ran, but I'm going to add a little pass protection dynamic, and we'll see here. Um, doesn't send pressure, but he does go man. We're going to start protecting the ball because we just can't afford to turn it over anymore. There's Edelman. I'm telling you what, guys. It, in the guide, we give you a full squad um, to consider when you know selecting your team. And this this squad I'm rocking right now. I mean, they're pretty solid. Um, I mean, they're definitely they definitely are a pretty solid little team here. There's Edelman. So we're moving the ball pretty well. I have a feeling here, most people, when you start moving the ball like this on them, they're going to go to man. And there's Edelman getting him. And like the thing, the key with these receivers is that it's all based off of, you know, the ability to have speed. Yeah, I don't really like any of that. Oh my gosh, Romo! Pick six. So three turnovers by the offense in the first half. Literally... Timing just got shook up a little bit. I don't know. I th I don't normally I don't normally run that play to be 100% on. I mean, and and I don't want to make excuses. I mean, that's 100% my fault. I should not have thrown that interception. Um, and the bottom line is, you know, I just have to be better. So with 37 seconds left in the game. It really puts us in a bind because if he plays good defense, good sound fundamental defense, he should not give up seven. He'll probably give up three here, but I mean, we'll, I mean maybe that'd even be a stretch a little bit. There's Brandon Cooks. <sighs> Dang it, that really makes me sour. A lot of sour grapes on that one right there. Got a one-on-one -on -one Kelvin Benjamin up top. And he's going to make a big-time catch. I, I'm telling you guys, one of the most underrated players I've ever freaking played with on this game is Kelvin Benjamin. Uh, I think he's like 4,000 coins. He's got 96 catch in traffic and 96 spectacular catch. 
His route running is very poor. I'm not going to lie to you and say it's not. But I'm telling you what, he's something else. And Keenan Allen's going to have to throw another pick. We seriously... <sighs> he's getting so many... It's like if you guys even understood <sighs> the amount of frustration I'm having right now. I mean, every part of me wants to make excuses, and but I just can't. It's just like Brady, Brady in the uh, Denver game. I can't make excuses. Um, you know, I have to just you know kind of make some plays happen here. But um, ain't gone it. We've been in scoring position twice and turned it over. We've thrown three interceptions. And he's going to make that catch. Of course he is. Not hot route at all. There's a freaking drag route. Gosh dang it, man. I don't know if I could have played a worse first half. See, the cool part about these inside the mind game, but you can, you can learn a lot from my mistakes here. Um, so far, you know, obviously, ball security. One of the mistakes. Um, another one of the mistakes is just, uh, quite honestly, is is timing. Uh, I was, and that was really the difference. It it wasn't a matter of like I was wrong. I made the correct read both times when I threw those picks. Um, the first pick I think was just kind of fluky, um, so I'm not going to count that one too much against myself. The second two were my fault, um, and they were my fault because I just really honestly. Missed the receiver. I had terrible timing, and uh, and ended up costing me a lot. It cost me two turnovers, and it's really costing me this game right now. It should be 14 nothing me, but because of my poor reading of the or my poor timing. I mean, you know, there's nothing at all more frustrating than than that right there. But um. And he is running so many crossing patterns that I'm not understanding where my guys are going. They're in flat zones and they're in freaking hooks and they're not freaking covering it and it's driving me up the freaking wall. Alright, so this situation, probably going to go quarterback dive. What we like to do is go corner blitz because the strong toss is to the right. And so we're going to come down here. And we freaking screwed up our own freaking defense. God dang it. Gosh, for freaking sucking right now. So we got to hold him to three. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we have got to hold him to three. I swear, if he hits one more crossing pattern against me, I'm going to lose it. I just don't know how he's hitting them. We should be solid against the crossing routes. Calls a TO. We'll probably run the same play, I'm thinking. But. We've just thrown this game away. And of course, we're in the wrong play. And we're in a completely wrong formation. Gosh dang it. There's a toss. We're not prepared for it. We get lucky. <sighs> dang it. We're playing so bad. For some reason, the dang computer put us in the wrong formation if you took a freaking timeout. Alright, so we're going to have to really play aggressive here. There we are. There's a stop. So we need him to take three. If he's going to go for it. 
We need to get a... But if he takes... Now, yeah, see, we're just going to have to... I mean, he did a good job taking time off the clock. I mean, that's for sure. Gosh, it's so freaking frustrating to me that we're in this freaking position. Because, literally, like, like what I was saying, it's just ball security. We're going to send pressure off this left edge. Here's your crossing pattern. There's your pressure. What a freaking play. What a play. <sighs> I mean, there's not much you could say about that right there. I mean, that's just a great play. Pitch. We don't put... Now nah, we're playing stupid football. Gosh dang it. Playing the dang play action pass. We There's power. Uh, we pass committed. Of course we did. Ah, gone it. We were trying to get a turnover, and, and, and really, this is what I will say, despite the fact that in that situation you have to try to get a turnover, I mean, you can't compromise your whole defense to get a turnover. I mean, that's just the bottom line right there. Should have a guy out there, yep. I mean, you're noticing, we're in position... That conversion on fourth and two, I mean, that hurt. And I just played angry after that. And I mean, we had a fumble and three picks in the first half. I mean, you can't, it's hard to come back from that. The sad part is we had an opportunity. We had multiple, multiple opportunities to come back from it. And we just freaking can't find ourselves. I mean, this is, I mean, this is just awful. If I'm him, if I'm him, I'm going two man under. Rest of the game. And that looks like what he's going to do. We're not going to win. Mathematically, we're just probably not going to win here. With three three completions, three picks. Um, now, what I want to say next is kind of going to be something that I, I want you to take the right, right way, but I really don't care. I just want to say it because I think it's valuable. Um, we, this is why you have to master your timing. That's plain and simple. Um, three turnovers, two of which were really just timing. I mean, really, at the end of the day, I mean, that's all it was. It was timing. A lack of timing, you know, caused those issues. Um, And now Romo's just making pathetic throws. We had a couple bad throws. But, I mean, most of the issue with this game was two timing passes that really were... I mean, we were in position to take control of the game. I mean, we... Here, Dre Archer's going to get outside. What a tackle. And see, what you're seeing from this guy, and I really want to take notice of this. This is why I think it's so important to learn from our own mistakes and also learn from other people what they're doing effectively. You're seeing with this guy, nothing too crazy. I mean, the pressure's not anything that I haven't seen, uh, to, be kind of, to be honest. And nothing that really strikes me as, like, wow, this guy is good. What you're seeing, yet I'm down 19-0. And, 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 you know, but what you're seeing is that this guy's doing the simple things. He's not turning the ball over. I don't think he's had... I think he threw one one turnover, but it was on a fourth down play. Right? And and the other thing is that he's ran the ball. He's ran some basic coverages. I mean, nothing too crazy. Just standard cover, you know, cover two, cover three, cover four, cover zero. Nothing too crazy outside of that. Had some user control, which is nice. Um... But outside of that, I mean, nothing too complicated. Now, why is he winning 19-0? That's simply because he didn't make three turn. He didn't throw three picks and then fumble the ball. 
You know, I mean, that's really, at the end of the day, I mean, that's that's it. And and that's on me. And you got, you have to take responsibility, and you have to learn from it. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you can't blame anybody but yourself. You know, so to not post this game would be very hypocritical of what the series is all about. I think we can learn a lot from this game. Because um, I was like, you know, because I mean, it's a blowout. I mean, he is, is killing me. Um, you know, what you'll end up probably seeing is you'll probably see a score somewhere along the lines of 819, maybe 1119. Make it cute, but. You know, but he's just flat out, I mean, he's flat out beating me. And and that's really, at the end of the day, it's on me. You know, it's it has nothing to do with the scheme. The scheme was working fine, right? I mean, you're seeing, we had open guys. And really, outside of the fumble, which you can't do anything about that, outside of just go out of bounds and, and be aware um, that you have the potential fumble. That's literally the first fumble I've had in a long time. I don't really normally fumble. But, um... Yeah, that was a bad sack. But, um, anyway, the fumble. So, nothing you can do about that, right? I mean, you can grow from it, you can learn from it, but there's really nothing inherently wrong you know, that you really did, right? So, not really worried about that. That's the first time he's blitzed all game, and we're going to end up getting a, a touchdown, probably. Oh, no, we're going to freaking run into our linemen. But, um, nothing you can really do about that, right? Um, the other two were timing issues, right? It's, it's, and, and that's really what I want to go with, is, you know, sometimes you just, sometimes you just got to make better, better plays as a user. Sometimes your quarterback and Romo's Romo makes a ton of bad throws for me, and that's that may just be part of my scheme. Is is we have some tough trajectories, but you know, you know, obviously that's part of it. So you can't be mad at Romo. Now, well, nice play by him. I figured we could sneak that in. We're having a tough time getting in the freaking end zone from here. Find him in the back of the end zone. I think I can get in. Yeah, that's nice. Um, but the thing about this game, guys, as we close out here, I think there's a lot we can learn in this 20 minutes. Uh, first of all, you have to be able to learn from your mistakes. So we talk about failing forward, right? So, you know, when you lose, there's there's things you have to learn. I got to learn. My timing's got to be better. I got to I got to understand that. You know, if I'm going to run this offense, which it's something that I will run, I guarantee you that much. You know, if I'm going to run an offense like this, I got to understand that my timing's got to be good. You know, um, I also got to understand that patience. You know, the the really the bottom line is I threw them too quick. You know, right? I mean, I. The bottom line is I threw the ball too quick on those two picks. I mean, that's on me. Nobody else's fault. And and, and, and that's the thing. Sometimes you get in the, the heat of a game. You're trying to make something happen. You're working, 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 and things are going well. All of a sudden, you get a little complacent. You throw it too quick, and you pick. So the idea of complacency, defensively, nothing. I'm, really, I'm not really disappointed. Um, you know, the crossing patterns he had are, are solid but nothing that really nothing that really you know stood out to me that he's doing you know offensively that really kinda raises issue um, for the most part his offense is really vanilla it's typical it's you know pound the rock we can't tackle though good lord Right, but you know, I mean, the bottom line is turnovers, and 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 understanding, learning from that, learning from your mistakes, and making sure that you you know you don't make the same mistake multiple times. That was bad user. He's done a really good job of running the ball, turning you know no yards into positive yards. I mean, this is probably one of the better 
guys I've seen in terms of user control. He's done a really good job with that. Um, but for the most part, I mean, like I said, he's got 14 carries, 68 yards. Now that kind of has a little bit of um, that kind of has a little bit of a skew to it because I think one of the runs he broke. We were really kind of selling out against the pass, trying to get some pressure. And really the last, you know, and that's really where you're going to see garbage time yardage. But let's um, we'll see if he ends up punting me the ball back. And I honestly, I mean, I really don't know why he did it and the game's over. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and go for it. We're going to have to get out of this. I don't know, I hate Ask Madden and all that stuff. You probably make this the last play. Yep. You gonna know, burn us deep. Yeah. That's okay. Um, we were just trying to sell out, make a pick, or something happen. Um, I was going all out. You're not going to do that, obviously, in a situation where you're really in the game. But, but anyways, guys. Um, guys, I think there's a lot we can learn from this one. Uh, most importantly, you got to work on your timing. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be fine. Not really worried about it. Um, just a couple things I got to share up on my end. I lost this game. He didn't win it. Uh, completely honest. He played not to lose. That's fine. Like I said, I lost 26 to eight. You know, that's a pretty bad loss. You did what you do. Great players. You learn from your mistakes. Don't just chalk it up to, you know, he got cheese or he got lucky that I, you know, learn from your mistakes. Too bad timing on two things. Bad scheming. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of too too much sometimes. Too much throttle. Maybe went a little too hard, too fast. I ripped the, you know, I, I, and I have to pay the price. So, uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching this one, and uh, and hopefully we'll get a win next time we see you. Uh, but guys, for you new, uh, check out some of our other inside the mind stuff, guys. I think that's the most one that we can learn. But at the end of the day, guys, the reason we lost this game, he has four, we had four turnovers, he had one. Bottom line, 